This is baby Luke's story. While pregnant, we found out at our 20 weeks anatomy appointment that our baby had transposition of the greater arteries, whereas aorta and pulmonary artery were switched while he was forming in utero. We were very scared at first, but after further research to realize that there was an extremely high survival rate, as well as an extremely high chance of him living a very normal life. Our doctor recommended we see a specialist at CHOP, the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. I gave birth to Luke in August of 2017 in the CHOP maternity wing. And finally, Luke was here. His first surgery was very soon after his birth. It was the balloon arterial septostomy to enlarge the hole in his heart so his blood was able to mix until he was ready for his main surgery. My husband and I were able to hold Luke and be with him every day and we had lots of visitors. We had him baptized before the surgery and then it was time. After day four, Luke's heels started to become a little blue and they decided to go forward with the next surgery. His second surgery was the arterial switch, where they switched the aorta and pulmonary artery, as well as the capillaries surrounding the heart. Their surgery lasted around four hours and was successful. We spent the next couple days recovering in our quad and feeding our new baby. After 14 days in the hospital, Luke was allowed to come home. They did a car seat test before we left where he spent one hour in the car seat to make sure he would be okay for the drive home. I believe he slept the whole way. Finally, we were home sweet home. And from there, we did as any new parents would. When picking Luke up, we had to lift him from the back instead of under the arms the first couple months. We see this cardiologist every six months and eventually will be once a year. Luke was a very happy baby and always slept very well. Throughout his first year, we massaged his scar to help it heal and fade. Medically, Luke has a thin pulmonary artery that'll have to be monitored throughout his life, as well as a heart murmur. But otherwise, he has hit all of his milestones from laughing. <laughs> Who's that, Jeremy? Who is that? That's Jeremy. That's Jeremy. Oh, Jeremy. That's Jeremy. Who's that, Jeremy? Who's that, Jeremy? To rolling and crawling. Good roll. And right around his first birthday, he was walking. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> good job, Luke. Yay. That was a good save. Now he is talking up a storm. He is average to above average in his language skills and is a very smart little boy. What are you doing with the net? I'm doing yeah, my monster. You're going to catch the monster? Yeah. Go get him. Monster's not in there. Where's the monster? He's in the kitchen. Our three-year-old runs and plays around like any other kid, with no restrictions. Can you tell me your name? 
Ruth Autotech. That's nice. What's mommy's name? Sissaba Mari Silva. Good. What's daddy's name? Dad. <laughs> yep. Love you. Love you. We are so blessed to have this little boy in our lives. Thank you to the doctors and nurses at CHOP for all your support, as well as our family and friends. For those watching in a similar situation, I hope this video gives you strength and reassurance. Know that there is support around you and you will be okay.